Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the constants. I've gone ahead, this is a quick little example. This is actually going to cover four different nodes. If we look in our palette, we actually find a section called constants. And constants actually has a bunch of different nodes. We're going to cover the first four here, which is our constant one, basically. Then a constant two vector, three vector, and four vector. Now they each have shortcuts, one, two, three, or four. So if we wanted a constant one, we just hold the one key down and click inside of our material. So the constants are pretty simple. Basically, they just simply hold a value and they output that value and that's it. So for example, let's say we wanted our item to be completely metallic. So we wanted it to be one for solid. We can just create a constant one set our value to one and then hook that node up into metallic and now we have a completely metallic item of course it's gonna be a little hard to see here because we have no light source but that's an example let's actually switch this over to maybe roughness and unhook it and you'll go ahead and see we have a completely rough material now so that is what our constant one is constant two is going to be the same thing except it, over here it's an rng value or in 2D screen space, it's an X and Y value. So that's something to keep in mind if, for example, you need to shift something over on a texture and you need to shift it over on the X and the Y, you can use a constant 2 and you use the R and G output. Next one is constant 3. This is going to be an RGB or an XYZ. So if you need to do something in 3D space, you might want to use a constant 3 vector. Or if you want to create a simple color, for example, you can use a constant three node. So let's say if we double clicked on this, here's one difference you're going to find. When you double click on any of these other nodes, nothing's going to happen. And you're going to notice it simply has an RG or a value. On here, you'll notice you actually have a color sampler picker. You can double click on that or the node itself, and you can actually pull in a color. So using this, I could quickly assign a color to my texture without actually needing any texture node. So this is a good way to bring in a color. You could use it for masking purposes or anything where you simply need a quick color without an alpha value. That brings us to the constant four, which is going to be the same as our vector three, except it adds an alpha channel. So if we were to pull this up, you're gonna find the same thing, except we actually have an alpha that we can adjust. If we need it to be partially transparent for our texture purposes. So those are going to be your constant nodes inside of your material editor. And that's it. They're really simple. They have four specific uses, single value, double value, or XY, triple value, XYZ, or a quadruple value, which is technically XYZ and W. You might need to use this if you're using a texture you're making a material that may need the W value, which is sometimes used for velocity and other things like that inside of material samples. That's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.